So the Houston Texans got their man at third overall. They are drafting LSU cornerback Derek Stingley Jr. Now, Stingley might have had the best freshman season we ever have seen from a cornerback in 2019. That year, 38 tackles, 6 interceptions, and 15 passes to defense. That, of course, was the year that LSU won the national championship game as well with the Joe Burrow-led offense. So Stingley was already a superstar. He played 15 games that season. He's only played 10 games since. Seven games in 2020, three games in 2021. And was just not the same player at any level, really. Uh, it was not the lockdown corner we had seen. It was giving up more yards. was having more tackles get broken against him. So there were some concerns, obviously. He came out, had a decent pro day. Everyone talks about how he didn't look like he was really trying. Not, I'm not saying that in a bad way. It looks like it was effortless almost for him at this pro day. Uh, but he still didn't have phenomenal testing numbers at the pro day. His arm length actually came in smaller than I expected, about 30 and 5 eighth inches. Uh, he had recently underwent Liz Frank's surgery. That was in early October. That's why he missed most of the year. So there are some injury concerns with him. He's not maybe as big as we anticipated he would be, but he's a scheme versatile player who can play really well man coverage and he can play press coverage even with his arm length because he can just stay, he can stay on guys. I mean, he's one of the few guys who can actually pattern match wide receivers, stay on their hip, follow them for the entire route. He's got a really good back pedal. He's just a really fluid guy, quick feet, everything. Like unlocked hips. There's no problem there whatsoever in terms of turning and running with wide receivers. And he's actually been very productive in zone as well. So you really don't have to worry about him playing zone either. He can do either thing for you. He's going to that Levy Smith defense in Houston. He's probably going to take on a very dynamic role for them. And he's not even 21 years old yet. He turns 21 in June. So you're getting a very young player who has dealt with injuries recently. But I mean, the high-end production we've seen from him while well, at college, it was historic. I mean, it was phenomenal. And we only saw one year of it. That was his freshman season. I mean, imagine what he can do if he gets back to developing what he was as a freshman and kind of builds on top of that in the NFL. He's going to be a really good player if he can stay healthy, which is the big concern right now for teams and why maybe not everyone had him as cornerback one, uh, but now he's going to a team in Houston that desperately needs cornerback help. They basically just need good players at this point. They need every position. And immediately they're attacking that secondary, which we know is very important because of the way modern offenses are run. So Derek Stingley Jr. is your top cornerback in the 2022 NFL Draft, and he's going to the Houston Texans.